about three years ago, I did a video when I got my first covert scouting camera with cell phone, and it was the covert Black Hawk. And now, uh, three years later, I've got a lot more experience with these cameras and a lot of change, so I thought maybe I'd share some things with you. Uh, the first of all, the nice thing about this is the, the cameras have gotten better quality, they're taking better pictures, and the price has come down not only in the cameras but in the plans. Um, originally, it cost you $15 per camera to set one out, and you could turn it on and off as you needed it, but they've come down now, it's only $11.99 per month, for each of the cameras you've gotten and then if you add an additional one to it it's even less so it's $7.99 for the second and third and fourth or whatever I now have three of them and I use them a lot and I'm really really uh, enthusiastic about the benefits of these cell phone cameras now this is the covert Blackhawk which uses Verizon they also have one which uses AT&T and I think they're adding other ones too now Originally, the first ones um, did not take video. Now, the newer ones, like this one here, will take video. Um, so, let's talk about a little bit of the advantages of these things. The, one of the most important things is that you can choose, this camera will send you either a text or an email, or both, and it will text you so, uh, a lower resolution picture but it will save a high resolution picture on the SD card so you you always have great photos of the what the camera takes a picture of that includes video um, the, another important aspect of this is that the range is really good the quality of the sensor is better so you're getting better photos and it takes just terrific videos they're there it's it's just uh, it's surprising at the price point the quality of video that you can get from these cameras um, now, a, a little bit on some ways that we can use them. But first of all, I want to say that I know of several cases where people have used these on their land and they have taken a picture of a trespasser and they were able to get law enforcement to the property before the person even left the property. They just got a picture of them trespassing, law enforcement went out there and busted them because they got texted a picture of the trespasser. Um, if somebody steals your camera, at least you got a picture of them, and uh, you know it's much more likely to prosecute and recover your camera in that case. So I also use these for uh, security just around my home. If I go on vacation, I've got some of these hidden around my property. So if I ever have, uh, you know, if I get texted a picture of somebody that's messing around on my property around my house or anything like that then I can call 911 call law enforcement and say hey there's somebody at my house and I'm on vacation so uh, those are kind of an aside situation but I'll tell you what I really like these things for the nice thing is that you can set these out and you don't have to go check them and leave your human scent and intrusion in certain areas I really like to put these in bedding areas or near bedding areas where does and bucks are going in and out of bedding areas um, you could really mess up a good buck bedding area if you find one and you have to go in there every few days and check a camera. But you can put these in there and just leave them for a month or two or three, whatever it takes before the battery runs out, depending on, the, on how you've got the settings and how many photos you're getting. So that's really cool. Um, another aspect of this that works pretty cool is that you can set them on trails and you can pattern deer when they're going down these trails without ever even going out there and leaving your scent you could actually set one maybe a hundred yards down the trail that you're hunting and it'll text you a picture of a buck that's coming towards you so you can get ready to shoot or whatever so there's all kinds of different ways that you can use these things I like to use them in feeding areas like food plots that help me determine when the deer are coming and going and it can help pattern these bucks and so forth um, you can also use them over a corn pile. I, put, I use them on scrapes all the time. And um, by the way, uh, as time has gone on, I, I used to put the cameras about this high. Um, it seems like that's eye level with the deer and they're kind of curious about it. It doesn't seem to really spook them too much. But all deer are individuals and some get spooked easier, easier than others. I've had some bucks that seemed like they didn't like the fact that there was a camera there and others that just completely ignore it. But I've uh, 
started to graduate more towards putting the cameras up a little higher or down a little lower and uh, especially on scrapes and uh, I used to you know a lot of times a tree has a overhanging branch and then a scrape right below it and so that tree is a real convenient place to put the camera but it just seems like sometimes bucks especially mature bucks are a little bit disturbed about having that camera right there at eye level with them so I tend to take and if there's a scrape over there I'll use a tree over here to put the camera on so anyway uh, I'm gonna cover a lot more about things like that in a in a separate video here but uh, so just keep in mind the advantages of actually having a camera out there that you don't have to go check very often it's really really worth it and when you uh, are not using the camera you just sh uh, go on your phone and uh, shut the camera plan off and it'll charge you just month by month so if you use it this month and you turn it off you won't, you don't get billed for next month another thing about the app on the phone is that you can go on there and you can actually change the settings you know if if you just feel like I'm you know I got it set on 30 second or one minute intervals and it's just too often um, you got just getting way way more pictures than you want ding 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 your phone just keeps uh, dinging as the emails come through then you can just get on the phone change the app and set it on three minute settings or whatever and it's you don't have to go anywhere near it to do that so the whole thing is just it's fantastic um, it's really exciting and it's just downright fun uh, once again this is the covert Blackhawk this particular one uses Verizon they have one for AT&T also Verizon just has the best coverage right in this particular area where I'm at right now in um, this part of Minnesota where I use them the most but I've also used them on road trips all over the US and Verizon has really good coverage so this has worked for me I'm continuing to learn about this and find new ways to use them I've been using them for bear hunting which holy smokes it's a total game changer for putting one of these cell phone cameras on your baits and patterning what time the bears are coming to your baits but that's another issue entirely so uh, if you have an idea of how to use these cameras I want to hear about it uh, drop a comment below if you have a really cool story about this or maybe catching a trespasser if you got a great photo share it um, I'd, I'd really you know I'm learning as I go with these two and there I'm sure there's people watching this that have pretty cool experiences I want to hear about them hit the subscribe button thanks for being a part of this and uh, we'll see you on the next video